Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another Disney Theories video. We haven't done this in such a long, long time, and I am so, so sorry for that because I've just been too lazy to write and too tired to write. <laughs> and I finally got back to writing. So this one is another uh, Frozen theory. Though this one, unfortunately, has been debunked. So I really had a toss up on whether I wanted to do this or not, but I figured, hey, it'd be a great throwback <laughs> to what we originally thought when we watched Frozen, like the first movie. Um, for those of you who have not watched the second movie yet, I will, I won't, I'll try not to give out spoilers, but you should really watch the movie if you haven't already, so that way you can know what I'm talking about. But we will, you know, just get straight into the Disney theory, the throwback. Disney theory. The king and queen of Arendelle died on the way to Rapunzel's wedding. Speaking of VIP invite lists, what fancy affair were the king and queen attending when their ship capsized? During a Reddit AMA, Frozen director Jennifer Lee said that the king and queen were headed to the wedding. Was it Rapunzel's wedding to Eugene? The timing is right, since Rapunzel still looks pretty much the same at the coronation. And the trip was supposed to be two weeks, which would be a reasonable amount of time to travel about 1,600 miles round trip by sea and land. Oh, and speaking of the shipwreck. So th this is where I kind of kind of got confused because I kid you not, the one after this talks about Tarzan and then the one after this I think talks about Ariel. So now we're going in an entirely different direction. I'm just reading you what they linked me, so deal with it. The insane new theory that connects Frozen and Tarzan. We all went crazy over the insane theory that connects Frozen, Tangled, and The Little Mermaid but sadly, the Frozen creators confirmed that it was indeed just a theory. I have not even talked about that yet, so if you're confused, it's fine. But any true Disney fan knows there's always an untold story, and during a recent Reddit AMA, Frozen director Jennifer Lee blew our minds with a brand new one connecting Frozen and Tarzan. In response to questions about what happened to Anna and Elsa's parents, who dis whose disappearance in Frozen is one of the biggest Disney mysteries, was... Jennifer revealed a mind-blowing theory from her Frozen co-director, Chris Buck, who also worked on Tarzan. According to Chris, the king and queen didn't die in the storm. They were deserted on a jungle island. Stories sound familiar? Ever heard of a little boy born in a treehouse and raised by gorillas because his parents were eaten by a leopard? He was not born in a treehouse. <clears throat> his name might ring a bell. Tarzan. Mind blown. It's entirely possible that the King and Queen of Arendelle veered off course in the stormy Norwegian waters, especially considering we never saw their ship sink. So that means not only is Tarzan and Anna and Elsa's long lost little brother, which he isn't, but Tarzan is also the newest Disney prince. And no, he's not. We can only hope for a family reunion. See, I'm so heated now because that theory has already been disproven by Frozen 2. And again, I'm not going to give any spoilers. So go watch the movie and find out why the, that this theory is clearly done. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it's a good throwback. Maybe, I guess. I was so angry writing and reading this. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this Disney theory. It is no longer a theory. <laughs> Bye little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.